When I published this course, the current version of the Raspberry Pi operating system was version 8, codename Jesse. Back then, the bench computer application ran on Python 3.4. It's now August of 2022 and my bench computer has been running non-stop, managing my benchtop functions such as the lights, soldering iron and the hot air gun without any problems. It's been a few years since I published the course and there are newer releases for the operating system and for Python, so I decided it was time for an update. In the lectures of this new section, I'll show you how to update the bench computer so that it runs on the latest currently available version of the Raspberry Pi operating system, which is version 11, nicknamed Bullseye, along with the Python interpreter that comes with Bullseye, which is version 3.9.2. I haven't changed the bench computer hardware in this update at all. In this lecture, I'll talk about the new content that I prepared for this update and how to approach this course if you're new to it or have already completed it. Let's begin by having a look at what has changed and what has remained the same. What remains unchanged is the hardware. I continue to use the same Raspberry Pi 3 Model B that I used to create this course with the original 32GB SD card, sensors, touchscreen, relay hat and other components. On the software side, Bench Computer Python code also remains unchanged. The most significant change is the operating system. From the original Raspbian Jesse, the application now runs on Bullseye. As for the Python interpreter, I've opted to test and use the standard version of Python 3 that comes with Bullseye, which is Python 3.9.2. When I created this course, the version of Python that came with Raspbian and Jesse was 3.4. I've also added the use of VNC as an easy and integrated way to have a graphical remote control interface for my Raspberry Pi. Besides accessing the Raspberry Pi desktop, VNC lets us to quickly transfer files to and from the Raspberry Pi. In this section, I'll show you how to set up VNC in a dedicated lecture. Here's the update workflow that I'll be following in this section. First, back up your SD card unless you're using a brand new card. Also remember to take backups of your SD card as you progress. This way, you can always roll back to a previous project state if something goes wrong. Next, check which version of the Raspberry Pi operating system you use. If like me, you completed this course some time ago and you are using Raspberry Pi 8, 9 or 10, that is the operating system, then you'll need to upgrade your SD card to version 11 Bullseye. If you are new to this course and you are already running Bullseye, then you can skip this part and go straight to the bulk of the update process, which begins with the setup of VNC. Once you have Raspberry Pi OS version 11 up and running, you can begin with the main part of the update workflow. We'll start by setting up the VNC remote control server on the Raspberry Pi and the client on your computer. We'll use VNC later to copy the application files. Next, we'll set up XRDP and copy the original bench computer application code to the Raspberry Pi. For the application to work, we'll need to set up the DHT22 and PIGPIO Python modules and start the PIGPIO daemon. And we'll do that in dedicated lectures. Finally, we'll test the bench application to ensure that it works in the last lecture. I've recorded a series of new lectures to help you update your bench computer application. You can find these lectures in a new section at the end of the course titled Bench Computer Application Update. And this concludes the application update briefing. Enjoy Raspberry Pi Bench Computer. <laughs>